Psalm 74 Asaph's Poem of Instruction We Need You Now Are you really going to leave us, God? Would you turn your back on us, rejecting your people? We are yours, your very own. Will your anger smoulder against us forever? Don't forget that we are your beloved ones. Wrap us back into your heart again, for you chose us. You brought us out of our slavery and bondage and made us your favoured ones, your Zion people, your home on earth. Turn your steps towards this devastation. Come running to bring your restoring grace to these ruins. To what the enemy has done to devastate your holy place. They have come into the very midst of your dwelling place. Roaring like beasts, setting up their banners to flaunt their conquest. Now everything is in a shambles. They've totally destroyed it. Like a forest chopped down to the ground, there's nothing left. All of the beauty of the craftsmanship of the inner place has been ruined, smashed, broken, and shattered. They've burned it all to the ground. They violated your sanctuary, the very dwelling place of your glory and your name. They boasted. Let's completely crush them. Let's wipe out every trace of this God. Let's burn up every sacred place where they worship this God. We don't see any miraculous signs anymore. There's no longer a prophet amongst us who can tell us how long this devastation will continue. God, how much longer will you let this go on and allow these barbarians to blaspheme your name? Will you stand back and watch them get away with this forever? Why don't you do something? You have the power to break in, so why would you hide your great power from us? Don't hold back. Unleash your might and give them a final blow. You have always been and always will be, my king. You are the mighty conqueror, working wonders all over the world. It was you who split the sea in two by your glorious strength. You smashed the power of Tannin, the sea monster. You crushed the might of the Leviathan, the great dragon. Then you took the crumbs and fed them to the sharks. With your glory you opened up springs and fountains. Then you spoke and the ever-flowing springs of Jordan dried up so we could cross over. You own the day and the night. Sunlight and starlight call you creator. The four corners of the earth were formed by your hands and every changing season owes its beauty to you. Oh Jehovah, don't ever forget how these arrogant enemies like fools have mocked your name. Lord, aren't we your beloved dove that praises you? Protect us from these wild beasts who want to harm us. Don't leave us as lambs among wolves. You can't abandon us after all we've been through. Remember your promise to us. For darkness covers the land, giving the violent ones a hiding place. Don't let these insults continue. Can't you see that we are your downtrodden and oppressed people? Make the poor and needy into a choir of praise to you. Don't ignore these ignorant words, this continual mocking. Rise up, God. It's, it's time to defend yourself from all of this. Never forget what your adversaries are saying. For their age and uproar rise continually 
against you. It's time to stand up to them.